Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Friday, February the 26th, 2021, and this is episode 3490. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, Stay Sharp. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay sharp. Yeah, you know, I played piano when I was a kid, and uh, piano's got to be tuned every once in a while. So we need to stay tuned, <laughs> but we need to stay sharp as well. Listen to what Proverbs twenty-seven seventeen says. As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. You need good friends, and you need to be a good friend. Iron can sharpen iron, and a good friend can sharpen a friend. The iron of a file can make a blade sharper, and a good friend can make their friend better. Are you a good friend? (laughs) Do you have good friends? Listen, no two people are exactly alike, which means that no two friends will have the same way of relating to us. Some we can trust to help us with certain tasks and other friends will not assist us in completing. We have some close friends who never say a critical word about anything we've done or are thinking. But if we're truly fortunate, we'll have at least one friend who will be honest with us and offer the needed criticism that will help us to grow in our walk with Christ. Now, every cook knows, and when I'm thinking about this right now, I'm thinking about my dad because nobody could sharpen knives like my dad. Some of the great memories I have are of him sharpening knives. Yeah, when he's cutting up the slabs of ribs, (laughs) put them on the backyard barbecue, Although it seems contradictory, a dull-edged blade can actually do more damage to the cook than the food. That's because when a blade is dull, it's harder to use. Not only does it take more force to actually cut something, but it's also harder to control. And that's why a dull blade can slice a finger quicker than a tomato. And that's why chefs spend hundreds on great knives. Every knife becomes dull with use. The sharp edge rounds out, little chips develop, cutting will render a blade ineffective, and on its own, it will never become sharp again. That's the first truth about sharpening iron. A knife cannot sharpen itself, nor can something weaker than iron sharpen iron. You see, this truth in Proverbs twenty-seven seventeen is a practical truth about sharpening iron, to teach a spiritual truth about our relationship with others. We've all had the experience of friends who inspire us to be better than we are and friends who don't. (laughs) A godly Christian friend can sharpen you in areas they are strong. When you think of sharpening a blade or sharpening ourselves, it's always done on purpose. A chef doesn't sharpen his knife so it looks better on the kitchen counter. Sharpening is done to make it more effective and efficient. If we sharpen a knife for years and never put it to use, it'll eventually be sharpened down to nothing and nothing to show for all of that sharpening. May I just encourage you today? Who are you sharpening? And who is sharpening you? Father, today I pray that you would help us to stay sharp. And sometimes, Lord, that means a friend who loves us and cares for us, sharing things that may be uncomfortable for us to hear, but necessary for us to hear. So, Father, help us to be engaged in sharpening others and being sharpened 
by others. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, bruceturner at gmail.com. Have a great weekend. Till next week, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy. Thank you.